just a quiet Long Island neighborhood. We don't live in a bad neighborhood, but things happen. Things can happen two doors down. Yes, we do have an alarm. Yes, we do set it at night. Uh, you know, like my dad always said, it's just to keep the innocent innocent. Peace of mind is key, especially when you have a 22-month-old under your roof. The Feldmans have turned to some new technology to help them reach a higher level of self-security. I have uh, fully automated my alarm system, my lighting system. I could look in at any of the cameras. We could turn the alarm on or off. All of that at a touch and a swipe. Everything's in my pocket. Greg can access his home security system from anywhere. All he needs is his iPhone or iPad. I could go out to grab my son and run out so fast I forget to set the alarm. I could be sitting in circle time while he's dancing and set my alarm while I'm out on from my iPhone. The convenience is catching. Greg designs similar integration setups all over the area. His partner, David Silken, says their customers like using familiar technology to take control of their homes. And this type of system isn't just for Hamptons mansions anymore. It used to be that, you know, only systems like this would be in big houses, you know, 20,000 square feet and 30,000 square feet. They've actually come up with some very affordable solutions. The system is very scalable. This is the G Controller, one of the latest from Elon Home Systems. There are more than 100 automation apps available for the iPhone, each pairing with specific home control hardware. Even alarm giant ADT is on the iBandwagon. It offers an automation package called ADT Pulse. Protection does take priority in the Feldman home, but Greg has another important reason for checking in from the road. If it's a little slow and I got a moment, I certainly would like to log in and see if, you know, no one's playing on the swings. It's fun to be able to log in and see if he's on the front lawn playing or if he's in the back lawn playing. In East Islip, Tom Yamas, News 4 New York.